If you're like me, you hate waste, especially when it comes to batteries. So if you like shooting with uh, this kind of older or vintage Polaroid cameras, this is a 600 uh, camera from Polaroid from back in the 80s, uh, you may know that these cameras don't have a battery in, in, the, in the camera itself. These cameras are powered by a battery that comes inside the film cartridge. So the camera itself is powered by this little cassette. So whenever you're done shooting with your Polaroid camera, you're also done with your uh, film cartridge. However, this cartridge still has plenty of battery left inside right here. So the problem is, what do you do with this? Do you just throw it away? You know, since uh, all the film is already gone, you already used it. Uh, that seems very wasteful to me, especially when it comes to batteries that still have plenty of power. So, I wanted to show you a really neat and interesting thrift store find. This is a Polaroid radio. I guess it's a uh, Polaroid 600 Plus portable radio, which according to the radiomuseum.org, it was manufactured back in 1985, approximately. And it was manufactured by both uh, Polaroid and Minnetonka Corporation. And it is uh, AM and FM radio, portable radio. And I found this one at the thrift store uh, a couple of years ago, actually back in 2019. I just finally was able to make a video about this uh, for only six bucks, which I thought it was a really good deal because if you try to find one of these either on eBay or Etsy, it sells for quite a bit more. And this is a really cool radio. First of all, because it's made to look almost exactly like those old Polaroid 600 plus film packs that you could get back in the 80s and 90s, so especially with these little colorful lines here at the bottom. It looks very like an 80s uh, design. And according also to the research that I made about this, uh, this, this radio, um, and I couldn't confirm this, but most people that I saw talking about this radio online, either on YouTube or on, on Reddit, they're claiming that this radio was not sold. It was actually a promo item that uh, Polaroid would give out. But I could not confirm this for sure. Uh, so yeah, really interesting thrift store find. I wanted to make a video about it. And like I said, it does come in the exact same shape. I think it's a little bit thicker than uh, uh, Polaroid pack, but it definitely is made to look like one. I think uh, if I had like a blue uh, Polaroid camera, it would go really well with those two together. Um, but anyways, let's go back to this radio, AM and FM portable radio. At the top you get a very long antenna for a good reception. On the side you get the tuning, of course, your selector for AM and FM. And uh, the volume and power wheel is right here combined into one. And it's kind of like the opposite of a standard radio, so you actually have to move it down to turn it on. And, and down for more higher volume and up to turn it off. It also has an earphone or a headphone jack, which is really handy too. And the back, the one that I got came with this little uh, Polaroid sized, uh, Polaroid photo sized instruction manual. So it does say that it's an AM, FM pack radio. And this does have the instructions on how to power this radio, which I will talk about this, uh, about this later in the video. And what's really cool about this radio is that it also, uh, since this is the same size as a Polaroid photo, you could put in your favorite Polaroid photo that you have taken here in the back, turn on your radio and put it on your desk to showcase your latest photos, which I thought it was a really cool idea. Kind of like a photo frame and radio at the same time. And here in the back, have some additional things that they made it to that they added to make it look like a Polaroid uh, photo pack. And these are all stickers, which are already starting to peel off in the one that I have. It does have a wrist strap here on the top uh, left, and uh, right here in the center of the or in the front of the of the radio, you will see the tuning wheel to help you. Select, select which radio station you want to listen to. Which honestly, this is the, um, the part of the 80s that I really don't miss at all, because it is really difficult to, uh, to find the exact radio station that you want to select 
using this tiny wheel and tiny window right there. However, it does work. So for a radio like this, it works just fine. All right, so now let's talk about the interesting part about this radio, which is the power. This radio is powered by this section right here in the bottom. This comes out and this comes in with this little cartridge that you can use for AA batteries. And with this, it will work just like a standard radio. However, you could also put in, like I mentioned before, uh, the film cassette from your, an empty film cassette from one of your Polaroid cameras. So if you're done shooting, you don't, you don't have any more film in this, you can just plug it into the, the radio, just like that. You can even put in the, uh, the end right here in the bottom. And uh, that's one thing that uh, still pops out, which is the sticker to pull out the, the cassette. It will still pop out like that, but it shouldn't impact anything. And now you can use this radio. And you will be surprised how long you can use this radio using that old film cassette, which really tells you how much battery is left in those old uh, film uh, cartridges from your Polaroid camera. They have plenty of uh, juice to go, especially in a radio like this, which doesn't really use that much power. It doesn't have a screen, so there's not that much power output using this kind of radios. Uh, but it works well, and I'll show you right here. We'll turn this on. And just se select to which to, right. uh, radio station to listen to. Making plays, he I don't know if you can hear it there, because I am using a, a lavalier microphone. You might be able to hear a little bit. But it does work well, and it also works for music. I won't be able to show you too much uh, of the, the quality of the sound because I don't want to get a copyright strike. Uh, but it works very well. Uh, even uh, with the uh, antenna pulled all the way in, it will work well, especially outdoors or in a place where you get good reception of uh, radio. One thing about this is that this is a mono speaker radio, so it will work better for talk radio. So if you're listening to uh, PBS or the news or anything like that, it will work just fine. When it comes to music, uh, the sound quality is not going to be that great because of this tiny um, uh, mono speaker. But otherwise, this is a fantastic radio. If you find one out there in the wild, in the thrift store, uh, I would definitely pick one of these up. Uh, again, you can also find them on eBay occasionally or on Etsy. But they, I, th I think a lot of people are starting to charge a little bit too much on this kind of simple style radios. Uh, so I definitely suggest to look for thrift stores, uh, look for them in thrift stores or on your grandpa's garage or something like that. Just may maybe he has something lying out, that out there that you could use. Especially if you want to start reusing those old film cartridges from your Polaroid cameras. So anyways, I just wanted to highlight this uh, little radio, a really cool item in case you hate waste and you don't want to... Uh, just throw away those old batteries from your Polaroid cameras. Let me know if you have any questions about this item in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.